hello guys welcome back to my channel and in this video we're gonna talk about the media caught in another lie against us it's as though the media at this point we're gonna have to say that they're inciting violence on us my reason for saying that is because if you look at all the articles that the media has been reporting on us about you will find that there are nothing but fallacies now the media is saying that U.S. legal team is going down a rather bizarre route to let the rapper know that they are parting ways with him. Do you guys remember, I think it was about a week or two weeks ago, that I, video, that I did a video breaking down a lie from an article that said U.S. legal team has cut ties with him because of his anti-Semitism. And I said to you guys, if his lawyers were going to cut ties with him, they would have to let the judge know. They will also have to let him know. But that article suggested that they cut ties with Ye West without letting him know. And as such, Ye West could potentially lose a lot of cases because he has no representation. And I said to you guys, he cannot lose cases because he has no representation when he hasn't been served a summon for him to know that, hey, you should turn, um, show up to court. Once he keeps avoiding that summons, he cannot be found guilty automatically because he has to have proper representation. By law, he is entitled to proper representation. So guys, this article is saying that um, the green throw ring law firm hasn't been able to get in touch with Ye recently according to NME. They can't seem to reach him by phone or in person, so they will be letting him know they're dumping him as a client through a multi-prong approach. Legal documents seen by TMZ and all hip hop state Greenberg law firm will um, be taking our adverts in two newspapers. So basically, they're saying that they're going to let him know that they're no longer representing him in two newspapers. But guys... That article two weeks ago basically said that they have already cut ties with Ye West because of his anti-Semitism. So why is it that TMZ has reported one thing two weeks ago and then this week they are reporting something quite contrary? Two weeks ago they said the lawyers have already cut ties. They didn't say Ye's lawyer, lawyers had an intention of cutting ties. They said that they have already cut ties with Ye. And Ye was not even notified. And the reason why they cut ties with Ye West was because of his anti-Semitism. So this is proving that a lot of things that the media says about Ye is definitely not factual. And as for a video that I did earlier, well, I have to say about 12 hours ago, it proves that the media outlets, they're always telling lies as it relates to this man. Now, let's continue with the article. The article further states that these notices will let the 45-year-old rapper know that they won't be representing him anymore and to look elsewhere for legal representation. But if they're going to do that, you know, why not just go ahead and do it? It seems as though every two weeks or every week, there is an article about these lawyers, you know, cutting ties. And every time we see an article, the reason behind it appears to be, you know, consistently shifting. Now, let's continue with this article. It states that the document says publication of the withdrawal order contents in two Los Angeles area newspapers where Ye appears to reside will also apprise him of the withdrawal order. Given Ye's public status, publication of the withdrawal order will likely garner significant media attention. I think these lawyers are seeking media attention, but not garner. I think that they're doing this for some much needed attention. Listen, to me, or rather in my opinion, Ye West is just avoiding all the people that you know disappointed him because 
if you really think about it, all this time, it didn't appear as though Ye West had um, a legal team because everyone was able to have their way with him. Everyone was able to say whatever they want to say about him. Everyone could basically create a lawsuit of any fallacious intent against him. So it's not given the sense that he really had a legal team. So if I was Ye, like, I wouldn't be looking at you guys either because what purpose do you serve, right? So guys... We're going to continue this article. So after they spoke about Garner's significant media attention, they further um, say that resulting in broader publication and providing even greater likelihood of appraising ye of the order. <laughs> so basically, they're just hoping that this approach will generate enough of a buzz that ye reads it in the newspaper, newspaper or on another website. The law firm was representing Ye for infringement lawsuit where he was accused of sampling a track for his song, Flowers. Now, guys, um, we spoke about Flowers earlier today because the media has so many miscon misconceptions of Flowers. Um, last year, in July, we heard about Ye West being sued, you know, for sampling, you know, a song on flowers then we heard nothing about that case but in the article it did say that Ye West team reached out to them and they were given the go-ahead to sample the song so if Ye West was su sued from last year um july why is it that nothing has been done until now and now that something needs to be done these lawyers are saying, you know what, we're going to cut ties with him because we cannot get in touch with him. So honestly, I really don't blame Ye West. I would definitely want to get rid of these people. I would avoid them by every means necessary because there's too much amiss at this time. And based on the issues and the lies at hand, it's definitely not given the sense that he has a legal team. And as such, I think that they need to just step and leave this man alone, let him heal. And then when he's ready, he takes the time to get the necessary legal team to provide him with the necessary representation that he may need. But at this time, guys, it, it, it just goes to show that there's always some myth that has been reported about him. And in every fallacious attempt, TMZ is always at the elm of it. But as time passes, these things will be revealed and we will understand more and the lies will be exposed. So that's all I want to share in this video with you guys. Let me know what your thoughts are about the media. Basically, you know, inciting violence against this man because I cannot put it any other way, to be very honest. This is definitely inciting violence. And I want to hear from you. So let me know what your thoughts are. And while you're at it, give this video a big thumbs up. Share if you care. And remember, if you haven't subscribed as yet, be sure to go ahead, hit that subscribe button. Thanks for your time. Stay safe, stay blessed. See you all next time. Bye, guys.